Yeah, I, I thought, Dana, the game was, was really decided by us not making shots, uh, to be honest with you. I know a lot of people will be happy we hung with them or whatever, but we, we felt like we should have beat them. Uh, we felt all week long we could hang with them and, and beat them. Um, didn't get it done, so it's a little bit disappointing. I, I don't know if it was their length or size, but we got a lot of open shots uh, that we normally make. Um, so that, that was the difference. Well, you guys saw the difference. I mean, I don't know how many games you guys have been at the Power Five level, but you see the difference in in the athlete, uh, right? And there's there's differences in everything, right? The Power Five right now is pretty much running uh, all of college sports. Um, so we knew it was going to be a physical game. Uh, we knew that their size was going to be an issue. I thought our game plan was great. Uh, I thought our coaches did a, a great job. Uh, we got there big away from the basket. We got wide open shots. Um, we make a couple more of those. We win the game. Um, but as I told the guys, man, it, it stinks tonight. Uh, we'll get over this. Um, but, you know, what this city has done for our team, what the players uh, have given to the, to the city and the university, um, not just players, you know, the coaches, the, the managers, you know, our, our marketing team, you know, there, there's a lot of stuff that goes into this thing. I don't think a lot of people realize, you know, coaching is pretty much 24 uh, hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days, you know, we're, we're on the move. So when it ends, it's tough. Um, it, it really is. But uh, just a remarkable year. Uh, I told him remarkable year, school record of wins, uh, first regular season title. Um, I can't be more proud of, of this group and be associated with these guys. Yeah, I think we'll see. I mean, I think there's got to be a commitment, right? I mean, it's, um, you know, it starts right now, Dana, you know, we, we don't have time to waste. I mean, we, we, we need to upgrade this arena uh, in the worst way. You know, the, the portal's open. Uh, we'll, we'll have a staff meeting at 8 a.m. tomorrow, and it's full go. Uh, we got to get players. Uh, we got to retain uh, players. Um, and then I think the next thing is the NIL the name, image, and likeness. You know, I've called three or four kids already, and the first thing they ask you is where, where is your collective money? You know, where, where do you guys stand uh, in your league? So we, we need support, uh, and the support sometimes is money, uh, and that's the bottom line. So we'll be 100 miles an hour raising money for an arena, uh, but the first thing is we, we, we got to attack this portal because um, we did a heck of a job uh, last year with it. So it can be done again. Fair enough. Yeah, everybody say we'll be in a rebuild, but I think all 11 teams will be in a rebuild. Uh, we'll see what happens the next two or three days with the portal. I mean, you know, you'll have players that you don't think will leave you. Uh, same thing with other teams. Uh, you know, the whole landscape's changed, Dana. It, it's about uh, – there's a lot of things involved in the recruitment uh, of student-athletes. Um, you know, here we, we can sell – we got the best fan base uh, in this area. Uh, we draw more than a lot of Mac schools. Uh, we draw more than, you know, 99% of the horizon. So if I'm a player, why would you not want to come here? Um, you know, it's free flowing. We score 82 points a game. Uh, we treat these guys great. Uh, you know, the coaches and the administration's top notch. You know, we fundraise and we run this thing as close to a high major as we can. Um, so I, I don't know why you wouldn't want to come to Youngstown, Ohio right now. You know, I think, Dana, things have changed. You know, I, I don't want to discredit what any of the coaches did here. I, I think times have changed. Um, you know, I think there's been a lot of struggles uh, at, at YSU and the basketball on the men's side. Um, you know, I, I think there's a lot of reasons. You know, I think three years ago when we committed to not playing four and five by games, um, you know, fans may think that's great and, and whatever, but you lose momentum, you lose confidence, you know. So when Ron and I came up with the plan to slowly get rid of those by games, you saw our non-league schedule uh, go up. Um, you know, the first couple of years we were playing four and five by games. You know, you, you can't get any momentum, Dana, playing a bunch of games for a bunch of money. So you got to commit. Somebody's got to commit uh, financially, whether that's a donor or whoever, to, to help us get to where we need to go, whether that's through a, a new arena, whether that's through the NIL money, 
Um, that's what it is, you know, because we have everything we need here. Um, you know, it's it's we got to see if we can get it done. Oh man! I mean, what they get us? I mean, they they out rebound us by fifteen. I thought if we could keep it about half of that, and I said the magic number was uh, between eleven and thirteen threes. We only made eight, uh, so we're eight of twenty-eight. You know, you make three more threes, you beat those guys. Um, but you know, it's I've been on that side of the fence too. Th those kids, all all they hear all year long from their donors and their support supporters and, and their coaching staff is the NCAA tournament. So when they don't make the tournament, you know, Mike Boyden's got to motivate those guys too. Um, so I give him a ton of credit because I think he's been robbed twice. Uh, once with Cade Cunningham by the NCAA. Uh, I don't know that case or whatever, but they weren't able to play. That was an NCAA tournament team. And then this year. So he's been through a lot. You know, Mike Boyden's a great coach. They're, they're a great team. Um, and you saw we could play with them. You know, I, I think there's a ton of parity you're going to see here that over the next three weeks in college basketball. There's going to be some great games uh, because there's no really dominant team. There's, you know, you got Alabama and some of those, but for the most part, there's a lot of great matchups. And I think in the NIT too, as you saw, three Power Fives go down, and you know we almost have one here tonight. Yeah, man, I, I, I'll be honest, you know, sometimes when I walk out, it, it almost brings a tear to your eye because a lot of those people weren't here six years ago. Um, there's only one player on our roster uh, that was here six years ago. So the people that have been around and walk out into an empty gym and then you see it fast forward six years later, it's great. The sounds are great. But what you think about, what my brain thinks about is all that hard work uh, from, you know, United Way events to fundraising events to recruiting time away from your family you know all the work that went into it paid off and, and that's what life's about man and, and our guys should not hang their heads if you work hard good things are going to happen that's what happened here and I still will say this I, I you know the credit goes a lot to our transfers but the most important guys are the guys you retain, the guys in your locker room. You know, Shamar Rattan Mays and Garrett Covington and Will Dunn, and the list goes on and on, Miles Hunter. Those guys welcomed these transfers like their brothers, and that shows what type of people they are. And that's why we won this year. We were a connected, connected team. And guys, I want to thank all of you guys. Thanks for everything.